the sun is going down, so it's a little bit hard to see in here. But I thought I should just make this video anyways to show you my new bookshelf and some of the books on this bookshelf. I bought this bookshelf a few weeks ago. It came in a really heavy box and I put it together by myself. I'm really happy that I finally have this bookshelf because before this, all of these books were on a desk, just sitting in a huge pile. So it has five shelves. You can move this one. You can move this one. You can't move this one. You can move this one and you can move, uh, you can't move the bottom one. So pretty good. I used one of my shams. I'm not sure if it was this one, but I used this to measure the distance between um, you know the shelves so I can make sure to fit you know bigger books. So take one of your widest books and use that uh, as a measurement for your bookshelf. That's what I usually do when putting these together. Let's look at some of the books on here. Here's one I've never talked about. People have mentioned this in the comments for a while. It's called Concrete Mathematics. It's by Graham Knuth and Potashnik. And this is a really great book. Let me just show you the inside here for Newly Numbers. Cool. And it has answers to all of the problems. See, answers to exercises, 60, 61, 62. And these are full solutions, right? So, you know, proofs and everything, which is really cool. This book is harder than other discrete math books. It's a discrete math book, basically. So I think there's other books out there that might be better for people just starting out. But it's a classic, so I thought I should show you. What else do we have here? Let's see. Oh, here's an interesting one I've never talked about. This is Higher Algebra by Bernard and Child. This is a book that is used a lot in schools in India. And I actually bought this book from India. The, this is a reprint of an older book and the original book is extremely hard to get. I'll just show you some of the contents theory of numbers, rationals and irrationals, polynomials, complex numbers. I will try to review this book and maybe do some math problems from this book. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can find this book and also to the bookshelf if you're interested in a bookshelf, like if you need one. I usually try to avoid buying them, but it got to the point where I absolutely needed to have a bookshelf because it was just overwhelming all of the books um, on the floor and on my desk. Here's a book that's really good for beginners. This is Elementary Linear Algebra by Howard Anton. I think this one is really standard and a lot of schools use this. It's definitely easier than like the book by Friedberg, Linear Transformations. This is an older edition. The exercises in this book are pretty good. If you're taking a linear algebra class, it's good because it'll give you extra practice problems. And sometimes those exercises that you do like in a book like this will show up on a test. So that's the advantage of having multiple books on the same subject is that you can go to different books for additional practice. This doesn't have answers to all of the exercises. It just has answers to, I believe the odds and some of them, not all of them. So like one, three, four, no, it's got an even five, seven. So it's just some of the exercises. It's pretty sparse. You know, you don't see like a bunch of proofs or anything back here. So standard book, super popular, great beginner level linear algebra book. Very, very affordable. If I remember, I'll try to leave a link in the description. It's not expensive. It shouldn't be because it's so widely used. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, here's a really interesting book. This is really cool. You're gonna like this. Advanced Engineering Mathematics. This is the second edition. Erwin Kreisig, this is a great book. This is good for like anybody, right? It's got a lot of really cool math. If you're a physics major or a math major or just a math enthusiast, this one is really awesome. It's got like a really clean layout. Let's just go to like a random 
random piece of the book here. Let's go to not determinants, let's look at something else. Vector addition, multiplication by scalars. It's got some pictures and some diagrams. It's very clean, very clean layout. Nice exercises. It's got tables in the back, statistical tables. That's got a lot of math, right? Looks like it has answers to odd numbered problems as well. So great book. Let me show you the contents. This, this book has a lot of topics. That's really the interesting part about this book. So let's, let's go to the interesting part, which is the contents in my opinion. So some review, look, functions, partials, ordinary differential equations of the first order. Cool, you get some applications there, electric circuits, orthogonal trajectories, cool. Some higher order stuff and some applications. Then it's really cool. He just goes into power series solutions of DEs, which is, you know, if you're, I mean, it's, it's cool. I guess it, it makes sense. He's already covered, I mean, yeah, at that point, he's already done all the first order stuff, higher order stuff in application. So it makes sense to either go here or Laplace. And then here we have some other topics. So it's like, you have like almost like a full DE course here pretty much, right? So all DE is here. So if you're taking differential equations, that's going to help you a lot. Or if you haven't taken it and you wanna learn, you can actually learn differential equations with this book. Vector analysis, it's got some vector calculus. A lot of Calc 3 stuff here. Same thing here. More Calculus 3. And then it goes on to like some matrices and determinants, right? So you can see already, so we've got DE Calc 3, some linear algebra, Fourier series. So applied math, partial differential equations. Then he goes over, talks about complex analysis, right? I mean, completely wonderful. That's what I want to say. I was going to say insane, but I'm going to say wonderful because it's not insane. These are all really wonderful math topics. And I think it's great that he does it in, you know, one book. I mean, look how, look how thick this book is. This is awesome. I just got to give it a whiff. This is just a classic. Just, oh yeah. Great book. Advanced Engineering Mathematics, Erwin Kreisig. Let's keep looking at some books. What else do we have here? Let's see. How about... Let's look at this one here. Here's one that is pretty rare. Plane figures and sections, how to construct them given specific conditions. So this is a book I just got. So let's look at it. Mir Publishers Moscow. Mir is or was, uh, I'm not sure if they're still around, um, a publishing company that published, um, that translated Russian books to other languages and they were sold all over the world. So this one was published in 1980 and it translated from the 1979 Russian edition. Here's the topics so you can see. Cool stuff, right? It's really interesting. Yeah, Mir, I believe it's pronounced Mir. I made another video on them and I said Mir and people corrected me, so thank you. I believe it's Mir, the publishers. They, um, what they did was they translated all those books and you know they're used a lot in other countries. They're not, um, they're not so popular in the US. They're, they were used a lot in Latin American countries and I had comments from people saying um, they were used all over. Someone from Ireland, um, several people in Europe were saying that um, they were less expensive than the other European books. And so um, they were able to get these for a few dollars. Not the case today. Here, they're quite expensive and quite hard to find. Let's look at some other books. Here's Lang's Analysis. We could look at that one. Oh no, let's look at this one. I really like this one. This is one you've probably never heard of. It's called The First Course in Abstract Algebra. And this book is really interesting. I use this a lot as an undergrad and I actually used it again as a grad student for something I think with fields. Uh, something with finite fields, I needed to reference it, and it's pretty good. It has some strange notation for functions in it, and it does the cycle multiplication backwards. Um, so if you know what cycles are, it does the multiplication kind of like Wolfram Alpha would do it. I think the Frelay book does it the same, but little stuff like that that I didn't like that was a little non-standard. But it's got a lot of topics. It starts with set theory, number theory, 
the theory of groups, the theory of rings. It's got a lot on rings. I've referenced it a lot for this. Topics in the theory of groups, topics in the theory of rings. They even prove Wedderburn's theorem. So I just got to give this one a whiff. This is out of print. This one's not hasn't been reprinted. Mm. I bought this book for probably like less than eight dollars uh, a long time ago. It's been it's been several several years since I bought this book, but it's a pretty cool one. Anyways, I just thought I would make this random video to show you my new bookshelf and just show you some books. Good luck.